to this video. This video will show you how to use Shapes Plus. Shapes Plus uh, creates a DXF file to be uh, imported into, uh, say, a CAD, uh, a CAD program or uh, Fusion 360. I'm going to show you how to use it in uh, Fusion 360, AutoCAD Fusion 360. Okay, so I have a, a bunch of examples here. There's several examples. The example I want to show you is a uh, is the uh, oblong example. Now this uh, example here, I got this drawing off of uh, Open Builds. It's one of their plates that they use for their routers, kits, and uh, people can buy. Well, um, it's in metric. Uh, it's made for uh, NEMA 17 or NEMA 23. I eliminated the 17 and just made the circle. So what I'm going to show you is how to create this DXF file to run in Fusion 360 uh, to get the G-code for a plasma cutter. I also can use this to uh, the DXF file is uh, for th uh, 3D printing or milling, whatever you want. This DXF file can be used for that too. So, and then if you uh, know CAD or you know a little bit about CAD, then I'll show you how to you open a CAD program that I recommend. QCAD is the name of it. The reason why I se selected that is because it's uh, reasonable in cost and you don't have to pay by the year. Okay, so let's get on with uh, what I'm going to show you here. Alright, so what, what you got to do here is follow these steps. First uh, step we're going to do is we're going to open up a circle. But we got to give uh, the DXF a file name. So I've got shapes uh, .dxf here, but if you want to use this, you have to save it. But I'm going to call this Auburn. O B L O N G. And then I'm going to save it. It's saved to my desktop as Auburn.dxf. Save it. Okay, now we can go on. And uh, well, before that, you would have had to do this. If you watch, I have other videos on YouTube that show you how to use this. But uh, at the beginning, I should have showed you this. You got to read me. You can do the read me. Then you're supposed to set up your destination uh, folder, like DXF files. Or I just put my desktop here. You just click on browse and you select desktop, and then you create it. It says it's created. Then you close it. Then you save your file. So that's the sequence right there. I should have showed you that first. Sorry about that. Then on this DXF help, I won't get into that. You have math helpers here that you could use if you want. Calculator and so on. Fraction to decimal, that's a good one. And uh, program options, I have a built-in CAD and Fusion 360. If I wanted to bring up Fusion 360, I would enter, I would click on this and I would enter where the path where Fusion 360 is. On the CAD program, you do the same thing. Okay, so I won't get into that right now. Then if you want to check your DXF, you know, this is the what it looked like at the beginning. You'll have something like this. That's the beginning of the file. So I haven't selected anything from Shapes Plus. So that's what I'm going to do now. Over here, if you want to print this, you can just print that and you can make a printout of this. Over here, you have your input list of what you'll see as I'm going along here. So Shapes Plus, you click on that. You want uh, the first, uh, I'm going to try to put this where, 
Okay, we're going to click on circle because it's a metric diameter, which is an inch and a half. So I'm going to show you how to uh, use this. Click on that. And down here we say we have a diameter of uh, three. Uh, let's put this up here. 38 point. So we click metric. 38. Point one. Thirty-eight point one, and the center distance is thirty and sixty-five point eight. Thirty x thirty, so x thirty, x thirty, and sixty-five, sixty-five point eight. Okay, for you guys that have a metric drawing like this, and you want to convert it to inch, all you have to do is click this and then select then enter that if you was in metric you would just do the same thing you would enter that well I'm going to do this an inch just to show you how to do it so I'm going to select that goes back to inch enter I'm going to do another shape okay just cl click this move this out of the way here's what we got right here this is an inch, or imperial, if you want to call it that. We, I don't usually call it, I just call it an inch. Okay, so we can exit out of this. Close it. The next shape is the bolt circle. So we have a four bolt bolt circle on this center, 30, 65. Okay, so we'll click on uh, bolt circle. Here it is here. Move it out of the way. Let's put it right here somewhere where we can use it and still view this. Okay, uh, this is set up for uh, the uh, NEMA 23 bolt pattern. That happens to be this bolt circle. I got this all set up right now for the inch one. So let's click on metric. We want 66. And I already have it right there. Now we need to enter the center, 30 on X and 65.8 okay now the whole diameter is uh, 5.1 millimeters so we'll say 5.1 everything is right four holes all right back to inch uh, enter the bolt circle do another? No, we're not going to do another. Close it. We're going to do uh, the oblongs now. So we go to oblong, and uh, what we have is what we have is uh, five oblongs here, vertical. You could do horizontal if if you wanted to lay this horizontally, then you would do the horizontal, and you'd have them lined up like this, one top of each other. Well, we're doing what we see here. So we're doing vertical. So what we got to do here is we got to establish the center. So if you follow this right here, it shows you that taking this divided by 2 equals that plus this dimension from 0. And uh, the center distance is... Uh, 18, 18, 18 point 18.84. Okay, that's done. Now, uh, the first one is at 10. Okay, now we got to establish this part of it. So the length is uh, 26, 26, uh, 0.6 millimeters and uh, the width of the slot is 5.1 5.1 and uh, 
the offset would be the difference. So if you if you use the calculator, if you you know if you want, you got uh, twenty six twenty six point six minus five point one equals twenty one and a half. So that's what you put here. So we got. 21.5 okay so that's uh, looks correct first one is 10 millimeters the next will be 10 10 so all you do is add this right here okay click uh, on inch oh it's goofed up here okay Back to the drawing board. Lucky I didn't save that. All right, we want uh, inch. I mean uh, metric. We got to change this to uh, twenty-six point six. Sorry about that, but this is a learning curve. This is five point one. Since I'm uh, converting back, converting from metric to inch, you can get goofed up like this. 21.5, 10, that's the first one, and 18, 18.84, everything correct, 26, 21, okay, now we'll go to inch, and we select vertical, okay, we saved that one. We've got to remember that switch back and forth here or you'll have to do it over again. Okay, we're going to do another one. So we go to metric and all we do is change this. Everything's the same. We're just going to change the uh, X. We're moving in the X direction. So that's uh, be 20. We've got to add, keep adding 10 to what we have here. And then back to inch, vertical. Okay, back to metric. 30. Just keep adding 10 till we get to 50. X50. Okay. Uh, inch. Vertical. Okay. Back to metric. 40. Uh, inch. Vertical. Okay. Now back to metric. This is the last one, 50 inch vertical, okay. Now uh, we're going to stay an inch. Close it. Now the last one is this one, pot size. Click that. Now our pot size is Right down here, well, you all got it here, right here. It's X60, so metric X60 and Y96.5. And the radius is 1 8th, which is metric here. Okay. Now all we got to do is uh, convert it back to inch and hit without holes. We don't need the holes. We could have added holes if we wanted, and we could have positioned them where we wanted, but we don't. Without holes. Make sure you do that. We're done. Close this, and all you do is select Create the DXF file. It's done. Now, if I did this correctly, I can go into uh, Fusion 360 right now, or I can open up my CAD program. So if I go to my CAD program just to verify this DXF that will work in CAD, I run it. I got to shrink it to fit. And then I would open up my desktop on my desktop and I would find uh, Oblon. Oblong right here, and there it is. 
I did it correctly. This went for I went from metric to inch on this. So you guys out there that have a metric DXF and don't want to fool with it, just do what I did. Now this this can be imported into any CAM program. That includes Fusion 360. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to uh, let you look at this, see what I've done. I have several, lots of examples here for you to use. Uh, math helpers. So if, if I go uh, put this away now and bring up uh, Fusion 360, here's the part. I already added it to uh, Fusion 360. And, and uh, set it up. I can't make this any any smaller. Okay, so here it is right here. Let's uh, show you the part. Uh, I'm new to Fusion 360, so you got to excuse me if I'm goofing up here. See if I can move this over. All right, then do a front. All right, so this is what I did. Let's, uh, I, uh, uh, let's just exit out of this file and let's uh, go new design, uh, model. Make a sketch, insert, insert a DXF, select uh, the front, open the file, uh, desktop, oblong, open, there it is. Now from this point, I'm not going to show you how to do the uh, plasma part of it, but uh, I just bought one and I haven't got it yet, so I can't run it on a plasma. So, uh, well, that's uh, about it here. That's how you uh, you create uh, a DXF file to import into any CAM program, Cut2D, uh, CAMBAM. Fusion 360, uh, your CAD program. See, if you have a CAD program, then you can edit it. You don't have to use, uh, you, won't, you won't have to learn uh, the uh, drawing part of Fusion 360. Just use the CAM part. And uh, I made the, uh, a 3D model of for uh this DXF I use for a 3D printing. I just made a an ST, and I import it into uh, Cura. That's another part of the, what this uh, create this DXF f uh, file you can use from uh, Mill Shapes Plus. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching this video.